Zones was a huge success for me. It was a huge milestone. Um, I went in with zero expectations. I was honored just to qualify. I was really excited. I just went in and basically just put down a round that I was super proud of. And they decided to test two riders that they believed. Um, usually when you test, you could either be testing for first place or second place, or you could be testing to see the, who they want for second place and then who they want for third. So we weren't really sure. I was not called back to test. We didn't know what was going on. Um, and then they pinned the results in reverse order. So they went from ninth place up to first place. And when they got to the top three in the placings, they said after a very difficult test and a lot of consideration. And at that point, I knew that I did not test. So I assumed that I had won and they called third place and then it was down to the top two and I was in the top two and I was ecstatic to hear my name as first place. Uh, it was really exciting. Yeah. So Zones was an incredible opportunity. Um, we were all fortunate enough to qualify for it and it ended up going in our favor. I was second overall in intermediate flat and I pulled a lovely horse. Her name was JLo and I got called back for the test and I rode a horse named Ronaldo who also Maddie qualified for nationals showed um, rode him as well and it was an overall great experience our first flat went great and then they took the top four back to test which I was included in and the pinnings ended up in our favor and I qualified for nationals. Between regionals and zones we worked a lot on more difficult courses and we put the jumps up a little bit higher to make me feel a little bit more comfortable going into the postseason as the courses become a lot more challenging and they ask a lot more questions than they do in the regular season and we always practice with me stepping in and stepping right up and getting a really good rhythm that I can find all the jumps out of and that's usually my biggest challenge so once I get that rhythm we're good to go and I think that at regionals I didn't find as nice of a rhythm as I was hoping. So that's something we really worked on to prepare for zones and um, it, it went really, really well. And every part of my course was exactly the same. Each jump looked exactly like the last and my rhythm was spot on and it was a very, I was very proud of the round. So leading up to nationals, our prep has been a little bit more intense. Um, we've been working a lot on position and just fine tuning like any little aspect we can. Um, just really being nitpicky and trying to make it as perfect as we can. Been riding a variety of horses, which super thankful for all the clients at Moreland Farm and the Kennedys for letting us use their horses. And yeah, it's been a great prep so far and we're very excited to go to nationals. My teammate Sarah Herring qualified for inter intermediate flat and after she qualified I, I was super excited that anyone on the team was going. It's a huge accomplishment for the team as a whole but I knew that I didn't want her going alone. <laughs> I, I was really hoping to join her on that trip to Lexington and I, I went in and I wanted to make her proud. I wanted to make the coaches proud and my parents proud and I, I think I delivered and we're both really excited to be going. Um, going into nationals, I'm super excited. Um, this is my first time going to nationals as well as my first time competing in Kentucky. So I'm looking forward to that. I hear the horses are amazing there and I'm really just looking forward to the experience. It is an amazing opportunity to be competing in Lexington, Kentucky this week. The venue is absolutely amazing. I've competed there in the past. Um, so I kind of know how the ring rides already, which I believe could be an advantage for me. Um, I think I've worked really, really hard to get here and we're super excited to travel and I'm really excited to see the different types of horses that they have provided for us and all the different riders from across the nation. It's incredible. It's really exciting. Yes, I, I think my goals are to have a solid round that I'm proud of. I want to go in and just get my good rhythm like we've been working on all year and top 10 get ribbons that would be amazing there are 16 in my class I, I would love to come home with a ribbon but I'm going in with no expectations uh, it is an honor to even qualify so we're just hoping for the best results that I can give us and a smooth round and I think we'll be really happy with that.
Um, I just want to say a huge thank you to my coaches, Kristen and Molly. We couldn't have done this without you and everyone at Moreland Farm from the staff to Cormac and Catherine. We are so fortunate for the opportunities we've been given to be able to prep for nationals and I know Maddie and I are super excited to go. Absolutely. Sarah is amazing. Uh, her and I quickly bonded when I joined the team this year and we've traveled alone without the team for competition so I think now that we're actually going to Kentucky together it's really really exciting. I think we're going to boost each other's confidence a lot and it's just nice to have a familiar face standing in your corner and cheering you on and we've both worked really really hard for this so I, I think we're both just really honored and excited to be heading there.